Alrighty, so for those of you that don't know, <laughs> you must live under a rock, Wicked Twister is leaving Cedar Point. Um, it looks like it's not coming back anytime soon. I don't know what I mean by that. But it looks like the rumors were true. There were a lot of rumors swirling over the last year, especially this season coming out of Cedar Point, that Wicked Twister was going to leave. And I remember groaning, hearing like, oh, like someone that's a ride op told me. And I'm like, oh, my goodness, ride ops don't usually know anything. Well, it turns out this season they actually did. <laughs> Nonetheless, Wicked Twister's leaving. This is either something everyone was expecting or something that a lot of people weren't. It's always been one of those things that there were two sides to the story. Lots of people were in favor. Lots of people weren't. But nonetheless, it's leaving. And in my opinion, it's a record-breaking roller coaster. It holds a record at Cedar Point, thus meaning it's going to need to be replaced. Cedar Point typically does replace roller coasters with roller coasters. And when you remove a record from the equation at a park like Cedar point, I fully expect a record roller coaster to be coming in 2022. And if that's not the case, it's definitely coming in 2023. So whether it's 2022, 2023, I definitely expect a record to take its place. Um, what do I think the theme could be? That's a really good question. So with this area, they've already started some sort of a boardwalk area, um, and it sits between Gatekeeper, which is a really nice coaster, and it's been kind of made to look nice in that area as well. I fully expect the area to actually be revamped into some sort of boardwalk. I think that Max Air could even be potentially re leaving with this, maybe even the Ferris wheel, or the Ferris wheel could be incorporated with a new paint job into the area to look nice. Um, but with its current color scheme, I don't see the uh, Ferris wheel staying or um, fitting in the new area well. So to either get a new color scheme or get removed, I've heard Max Air hasn't opened this season as well, meaning it's probably going to get removed as well. Um, but nonetheless, that's a lot of land to work with. And if they end up removing Kitty Kingdom because they have the new Planet Snoopy area just right next to it, I think that this area could be redone to look really nice. Even the games over to the right could be made to look really nice as well. It's got a lot of potential, and I'm really glad Cedar Fair seems to be focusing on this area. Heck, remove the arcade as well you're, while you're at it. That massive building, remodel it or remove it or turn it into a dark ride, whatever they're gonna do. I like. I mean, this could be a two-year phase. Like Maybe this year they're just gonna remove Wicked Twister, build a little boardwalk, and then maybe put in a dark ride in the... Um, arcade area like everyone's been rumoring or maybe this is the year they'll get the coaster in 2022 um, they'll announce Winterfest for the 2022 season and then build a dark ride um, for the 2023 season to complement Winterfest who knows that's a that's a, a huge reach there <laughs> there's been no rumors surrounding that idea or principle but I definitely see a lot more dark rides coming to the Cedar Fair chain parks that are potentially being eyed for longer operating calendar years. Carowinds, Canada's Wonderland, and Cedar Point. For those of you that listened to the recent stockholders call, know that Canada's Wonderland, Carowinds, and Cedar Point are being eyed for year-round operations or extended calendar years. I do know that Winterfest will be coming to uh, Cedar Point, and I do expect, uh, based off of the stockholders call, that that will take place when the resort renovations finish. So I'm expecting 2023, to be honest, maybe end of 2020 a launch for the 2022 season for Winterfest. But who knows? Definitely a lot of speculation there. That's a whole video in itself. Right now, what do I think is going to happen? One, I think that a record roller coaster is definitely going to come in either 2022 or 2023. Is it going to be located in this area? Most likely, but there is a potential that it could go somewhere else in the park and they just wanted to beautify this area with this removal. So it could not be that. could be located somewhere else. And I definitely think that maybe Max Air could be leaving due to its operations and not being open this year and potentially Kitty Kingdom and just revamping that whole area. I also think that the Ferris wheel will either be repainted or removed, one of the two. It's definitely a huge um, area that they need to focus on. And I'm really happy that it seems the attention seems to be there. So super excited about that. Um, again, I want to hear from you guys down below. What do you think could be coming in replace of Wicked Twister? Do you think it's just going to be a boardwalk theme? Do you think it's going to be nothing? They just want to open it up to look at the beach with maybe a VIP sitting area that already kind of exists in that area? Or do you think it's going to be a record-breaking roller coaster? I don't know if I just said that. Boardwalk, record-breaking roller coaster, nothing um, to just open up the area for a view of the beach. What do you think? Comment down below. Or if it's nothing uh, of the three options that I gave you, comment down below still. So super exciting topic. 
And uh, yeah, I'm really excited. A lot of people were losing faith in uh, Roller Coaster coming to Cedar Point, and I personally am still Team Roller Coaster coming in 2022. And my main reason for that is it, the budget for the 2022 season is 175 million to 200 million dollars. And with the announcements we see coming out of Worlds of Fun, and we know that King's Dominion is getting a 4D free spin, there's a lot of money at play for these bigger parks still. And I still think that Cedar Point is holding out for a roller coaster. A lot of the people uh, in the coaster community don't really pay attention to the conference calls um, and the events and presentations section on Cedar Fair's website. And it really shows. On the recent June update on the events and presentations, it actually says that they're withholding construction um, until Q4, around Q4, until they go to weekend operations as well. They recently just said on the stockholders call a couple days ago. Um to save money. So what you're seeing right now is there's not a lot of construction or signs of construction at any parks and except for King's Dominion with the teasers. And that's simply because it's just cost saving. We're just came out of a pandemic and they're waiting until a specific time to start those. So don't lose hope. I'm still team coaster for 2022. Hopefully it is 2022 and not 2023, but it's definitely one of those two years with the removal of a record coaster at Cedar Point. But nonetheless, I want to hear from you guys down below. Thank you for listening to my opinions on the removal of Wicked Twister. Yes, it's really sad. But again, I really like seeing Cedar Point focus on areas. And right now, I'm loving the fact that it's this area that Cedar Point's going to focus on. So awesome. Super excited. I bet you guys are excited as well. Don't let anyone drown out the possibilities of a super big thing coming to Cedar Point. We know Cedar Point, and we know they're going to go big. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a good one. Bye.